military culture was really, really difficult. They brand identity super hard into your life, like you're an airman in the world's greatest air force, and you're this, and you're this, that, and whether people believe things all the way or enough, like everyone went through the same process in boot camp of like a rebranding of, Psh, you're in the air force now, and everyone knows that and everyone believes that. And that kind of like heavy branding of identity definitely felt like it put me in this box. I didn't like how it felt like I had something I needed to prove. I, I felt so confused as to who I was and finding like my real sense of purpose and like, do I matter? I just dreamed of like, man, if only I could like just do ministry and didn't have to worry about living in two different worlds. I'm in line at Whataburger with my friends getting food and I meet this lady, start talking to her. She tells me about her daughter who's on this thing called the World Race. I've never heard of it before. It really hit me like, what is this thing called? And she's like, oh, it's called the World Race. So I looked it up that night and I applied the next day. <laughs> oh man. God's like, oh, it's the World Race. You're gonna go through some stuff and we're gonna just bubble up all these things to the surface that I wanna work on. And that culture shock just wiped me out. From military to missionary was the biggest undoing ever. From that month leaving me just like, what is going on? I need help. I was so frustrated. I had been humbled at that point. I asked our squad mentor to help me out with things. Give me this book on sonship. And I was like, sonship, that's interesting. And he's like, yeah, it's this book on identity, like understanding the father heart of God. After just reading all of the things that I'd read and talked to people, heard the Bible stories, the verses, but I really didn't feel it. I really, it didn't connect with me. And then I got so frustrated one night when we were um, out in our village and I just went for a walk in the sugar cane by myself. And I remember just walking and walking and just being so fed up and frustrated. I remember just like shouting out like, God, like, like, who am I? Like just anything, I need something. A moment later, I heard just this very small voice, very small voice saying, um, Pilgrim. I was like, this is so what? And I just, and it, it, didn't, it didn't connect with me. I mean, and we walked down um, into like where we were all camped out at and we were gonna have a team time. And we're like talking about, okay, how's your day? What's going on? Is God speaking to you, anything? And I was like, yeah. God told me this one word and I was praying. And they're like, oh, what's this word? And I was like, Pilgrim? And it sounds weird. And then one of my teammates, I'll never forget Kayla, she's like, Andy, Pilgrim is such a beautiful word. And I was like, why? And she's like, well, Pilgrim is like, you're on a pilgrimage, like this big spiritual journey that just like is finding this deeper truth and like source of like life and purpose. And at that moment I was like, wow, there is a purpose to all of this undoing and that Pilgrimages don't end with just the struggles and the difficulties, and there was so much more. Um, I'm feeling super free to be me, to be honest about how I'm feeling, who I am. I don't have to talk to win people's approval. Um, I'm feeling just comfortable in my own skin. Last year, my life has changed everything. God brought me on the world race to show me who I am, my actual purpose in this world, and outside of that, to show me that his plans are so much better than I ever could have placed on myself. The best plan that I had come up with was 20 years military, this, that, and the next thing. And he blew that out of the water. And all I had to do was say yes.